Hi, do you have a stack of old mail order catalogs or magazines? Well, I do, and I was inspired by Kylie Koo and her series, Junk, Use It or Lose It, to turn at least some of those um, catalogs, catalog pages at least, into uh, a neat little book like this, and I'll show you how. Hi, it's Gloria from Golden Bucket Farm. I'm the Jersey Lady One here on YouTube. And today I'm sharing this little book that I made um, following Kylie Koo's idea of uh, using catalog pages, mail order catalog pages, or I even used um, magazine pages to make pages for um, a little book like this. Um, I plan to use it as a day book. That's not a journal. It's not a planner. It's just a little book that I write uh, something about each day. And this little book is designed to last for a month. It has 32 pages, so room for 32 entries. And I tell the temperature, what the sky is and the wind is like in our area. What is the main thing that we're having for our dinner or supper. And... Um, just anything like today, the plumber is here working on the milk room in the barn. Um, so I would put that down, you know, or we take the animals to the vet or a neighbor stops by and we have some dessert or something like that. Um, just a little bit of what the day is like. Anyway, <clears throat> I made this little book and... Um, on the cover, I made a little mixed media uh, page here for that from a lot of my scraps. And this nice tassel came from one of the ladies that I was in a swap with um, on Scrap to World. That's Scrap and then DA, like duh, and then World. That's uh, Tamika here on. YouTube. She scrapped a world and she has the most wonderful swaps. Oh, you guys. Um, she has so many people in them. You know, like there might be six people in your group and there'd be um, seven or eight groups and different categories. You know, shabby chic or plain and simple or vintage or whatever, you know, it happens to be of the kind of things that usually the ladies send a few extra things, you know, pretties with their with their um, swaps and this little tassel and it's just oh it's soft like a kitty or like a bunny and so simple really just um, uh, gathered up and and um, contained with this little um, blingy mesh here um, so I, I want to make some of those if I do I'll show you how they turn out anyway on to this little book the pages are made by taking the uh, page from your mail order catalog or whatever you have and fold it into quarters. And Kylie painted hers. But as I've said before, I'm not the most eager painter, jessower, gooey, fluey person. Um, so I used washi tape around the sides of my pages and um, covered them up, you know, covered them up that way. So I didn't fold them over the edges and I'll show you how to, how I did fold them in that, but I just went around the outside on the front and on the back. That's something um, I could do on a big tray on my lap while I'm, you know, sitting in my recliner with my feet up watching, watching uh, a movie on TV or something. So, Anyway, as you can see, I've got, I've used, um, let's see, get here, uh, four by six note cards uh, cut in half, and that worked just fine for my size uh, page. Uh, covered up the empty space in the middle and just used my ATG gun to put two strips of adhesive on each one and that gives me a place to write for my days. But this could be, it could be a little book, a little keeping book where you put the um, names and addresses and other information about your um, 
online friends, your YouTube channels that you watch. Uh-oh, there's a siren. When I was teaching, we lived near a hospital and a fire station, and we, when the kids would hear that what was in a Christian school, we would stop and pray for the helpers and the helpless. One of the little girls started um, saying it that way, and so, dear Lord, whoever needs help, please be with them. Okay, so here's our, you know, I'll just keep turning through my book. I used three rings, and some some people have asked me about where I get my rings, and um, these are inch rings, and I'll tell you about that. So I just took my um, shoebox of my washi tapes and pulled out 31 rolls one at a time and made my book. I made the covers from, oh gosh, I think it was a either a cake mix, mix box or a graham cracker box. Just used the cardboard that way and wrapped it with um, scrapbooking paper. On the back one, I wrapped the back and put a liner on the inside. On this one, I wrapped the inside and put my little multimedia page on the outside there. So <clears throat> let me show you how I work this. Come here, pretty. Hang in front there. So I just have a page here um, from a magazine. And all you have to do really is just fold it into quarters. And you want a nice crisp fold, so you use your bone folder or the back of a table knife or the edge of your ruler or whatever. Okay, well, that's about it. <laughs> that's really all there is. Now, as I tore the magazine out, there is a little a little um, rough edge there, so I could run that on, on my trimmer or just um, snip off with my scissors so that um, that's a smooth finish there. Then, uh, I used just any glue stick. These are, I think they come three for a dollar at the, at the Dollar Tree. And um, glued, I won't do that, I'll show you when I have done. Just mainly around the edges, but some in the middle too like that. And glue your sides down. Let me get that up where you can see it, there you go. Glue your sides down or together. And then this way also. Okay, so that you're going to go like this. Just it doesn't have to be solid, but you want to you want to be sure that you get those edges caught real well. And this is what this is what you'll come up with then. Just a nice little packet of folded page. And when I make my book and I put my um, washi tape and my little writing part in the middle, I turn my page so that I have the, the edge, and it's hard to tell on here now because it's really a, it's really glued well, but I want those folded edges on the top and on the outside here, and the, the loose edges, or what, what were the loose edges, at the bottom and on the binding side so that you have your smoothest on the top and on the, or edges on the top and on the right side so you're it's less likely to get kind of dog-eared there with use okay and then I just took uh, washi tape and went across I think I did like the sides first and then the top and the bottom um, but I guess it doesn't matter, you know, however you would you would want to do that. And what you'll be left in then in is in the middle here you'll have a space. 
um, where you can still see the magazine. Now, Kylie, you know, she didn't use the tape. She just painted hers and was going to use it for like a little art journal. Um, and I started like that. I did, I think, about six pages. But you had to do, you know, the fronts and let them dry and then turn over and do the back and let them dry. And for I thought, I think it takes about, hmm, about 15 inches maybe for a page like this to do uh, with your with your washi tape and oh gosh if you're like I am you have plenty of washi tape and know where you can get more <laughs> for not very much so um, I just did that because I wanted to use my book for writing not for for drawing but you can do whatever you want if if your page is a little bigger um, and so that when you put your tape around a card won't completely cover the space then you know you'll have to think what are you going to do you could trim your page down a little bit um, so that that would bring your washi tape up toward the middle a little more um, or you could just use some scrapbooking paper or even the back of some light color scrapbooking paper that you're not too keen on and cut pieces, you know, from your scraps to um, cover that center. Um, yeah. Or if you have some cardstock pieces that are in your scrap box or scrap drawer from making other things and you have you know a number of those pieces that you could cut to cover the center up um, that would that would work too so um, then once you get all your uh, pages done and covered then you need to punch them um, either and if you're going to use rings, that's fine, or you want to put yarn in there, or shoelaces, or ribbon, or um, if you have a cinch, or a bind it all, or whatever to to do your little book with. Um, you want in a, anyway, unless you're using a cinch or a bind it all, you're going to need to put holes in there. So I used my um, we are memory keepers quarter inch punch but you use whatever you have but um, to get those evenly spaced so that your your book will you know not bind up on itself what I do is I take a piece of paper this is just an extra card and measure it to the size that I need for my for my cover and my pages and cut it off to that to that length then I fold it in half and that's important so that you know where your center line is to put your center punch then since you have these two you know outside edges you can just put your punch up Oh, I have to undo it. Sorry. Put your punch up against the edge and down as far as your marker is. Or if you're using, you know, a, a simpler punch, you can kind of figure out where you want it. Since you have your fold here, both your outside ones, whatever kind of punch you use, they're going to be in the same place. Okay. And then, you know how far in you went for this, you can, the outside edges, you can look and see where the fold is, punch right over the fold, and that will give you one exactly in the middle, so that you have um, a template then to use for your 
so that all of your pages will be punched in exactly the same place. And on the inside, since this is a day book, I like to label them. So I have these little tag labels from the Dollar Tree. And it it, it doesn't really have a brand on there. Um, it just says 40 count labels, paper labels. And so I took one of those and just put that in here so I can say, okay, this is February 2017 from 1 to the 31st day. And so, yeah, those pages that you have um, sitting around in, in your mail order catalogs or your old magazines, yeah, there's probably some pictures you want to save out of those or some recipes you want to save or house plans or house ideas or whatever it is that you might have. Pull those out. And then the other odd pages um, that... Don't throw those away. You can turn them into nice little books um, like this. And I did mention about the rings. Somebody asked about those, or a couple people, I guess, did. Um, I bought my inch rings from Walmart Online. And I got 100 inch rings. And they have different size ones. But um, for it was less, it was like $6 delivered, I think. And um, you can have them delivered free to your store if, if that's a store that's in your area or you, you know, shop frequently there. You just go online and order it up and it'll be waiting for you at the desk. Otherwise, you can have it sent to the house. But like I say, this, this whole thing was, was um, $6 delivered. And, yeah. Nice little inch rings. Uh, I've, I have other ones, and I've gotten them, you know, at different super centers um, and also at the uh, craft store or at the Dollar Tree. But I use inch ones a lot, and that just seemed to be the most economical way to order those. So, okay. Uh Thank you to Kylie Koo for inspiring me with her junk, use it to use it or lose it. And I hope that I've um, given you some ideas of how you can clean up those magazine and um, mail order catalogs too, to put them to good use. All right. Um, happy crafting. Um, blessings to you all. And we'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye.